Dear whoever, I knew this guy once. I'd like to call him my best friend. We talked about everything, did everything together. I mean, our relationship wasn't always movie worthy, but I think that's what made us, well, us. We always used to get these god awful onion rings. I hated them, but he seemed to like them, so we would get them every Saturday. Around 12.37 every Saturday. It's just one of those weird things that I remember. We'd walk there and walk around the city for a little while, screaming. We were free. This one time, we walked to this bridge. We stared over the edge of the cars racing past, feeling the wind whip across our faces and not thinking about anything in the world except for this moment. I wish I could explain it to you. I can't quite put into words, and I've never been able to recreate it. With him, every problem seemed to disappear, at least for that moment. I wanted to say he felt like that all the time, but I would be kidding myself. I tried to forget and just remember that moment, pretend for forever, but he couldn't do that. And then he hit the pavement. Everything changed. Some people say that it was physically impossible for him to speak, that something went wrong with the jump. I mean, a lot of things went wrong, like the fact that he was still alive, but I knew better than to believe that he couldn't speak. I knew better. He just didn't want to explain to anyone that he had failed. He had failed to follow through with what he thought was the simplest act. I'd like to say I knew, nothing going right and finally managing to find the solution and still fucking up. You think that the boy, to have enough courage to take his own life, would be able to talk to his best friend about it. But now that he was alive, all I did was sit. Maybe he was a coward after all. If I was naive, I'd say that it was just the day that took it. A hard day, that's all. And I would scream at him. Scream to tell me why. I mean, if he was dead, if he really had killed himself when he jumped, I don't think I would have screamed. He just sat there looking at me. Maybe he was trying to tell me something by keeping quiet. Or maybe he didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to say to him anymore. There was nothing to say. I had tried to fulfill my duty as his friend, and I too had failed. Failed to follow through with what I thought was the simplest act. He'd like to say he knew. Nothing going right and finally managing to find the solution and still fucking up. You think the boy to have enough courage to take his own life would be able to talk to his best friend about it. But now that I was alive, all I did was sit. Maybe I was a coward after all. I knew this guy once. I thought as my best friend, you'd understand. I'm telling you now. From your best friend, Noah.